Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see about anti-epileptic drugs. Okay. Now what is anti-epileptic drugs? From the term, you can derive the meaning that is anti-epileptic. That is the drugs which acts against the treatment of epilepsy. That is it is used in the treatment of epilepsy. Used in curing the epilepsy. That is anti-epileptic drugs drugs or used in the treatment of epilepsy that is known as the anti-epileptic drugs now what is epilepsy epilepsy means it is the convulsions right epilepsy means it is the greek it is the greek word that means convulsions all right now let's see the types of epilepsies Okay, that is, you have to mention this classification. Okay, that is epilepsies. It may be of, first is your generalized epilepsy. Okay, that is your generalized seizures and partial seizures. Okay, generalized and partial seizures. Again, this is further divided into generalized tonic clonic seizures okay generalized tonic clonic seizures and second one will be your absence seizures okay second one is your absence seizures and third one is your myoclonic seizures Alright, generalized, further divided into generalized tonic clonic seizures, that is your grand mal epilepsy. And next will be your absent seizures, that is your petit mal epilepsy. And third one is your myoclonic seizures. Now, moving on to the partial seizures, it is classified as the simple partial seizures and second one is your complex partial seizure okay you have to mention this classification of epilepsy all right moving on to the classification of anti-epileptic drugs classification of anti-epileptic drugs okay Alright, now I have written a story here. You just have to remember this story if you need to remember your anti-epileptic drugs. This will be very easy for you if you remember this story. Now, let me tell you. That is, there is a barber, okay, a barber and he has a son named Ali. A barber, he has a son named Ali and what this son Ali does is, he usually plays with this cycle in his house. Okay. And makes the house very dirty. Alright. Plays with the cycle inside the house and makes the house very dirty. Immediately what the barber does after his son plays with the cycle. Immediately he puts a deodorant on his son. Because he will be sweating and it will be stinking like anything. Right. And so he'll be immediately he'll put a deodorant on him and also he cleans or washes the walls and the house with the water because it will be dirty because her son played with the cycle inside the house, right? And then immediately he he immediately he uses deodorant and then he washes the house with the water. After a long time. What happens? This barber gets a new Benz car for his son. Okay, new Benz car. You just have to remember the story. A barber, he had a son that is whose name was Ali. And he used to play with the cycle inside the house and makes the house very dirty. Immediately after his son played with the cycle in the house, this barber puts a deodorant on him as he was very uh, stinky 
and uh, very sweaty and then he washes the walls of the house with water and later the barber buys a new bench car for him now let's see how we should connect it with the drugs now first is the barber that means first one barber you have to write as barbiturate okay barber barbiturate and next is your fun it starts with yes you have to write is as succinamide that is starts with s that is succinamide and third one is ali his name what you have to write ali that is aliphatic okay that is your aliphatic carboxylic acid derivative carboxylic acid aliphatic carboxylic acid okay and third is your cycle that is cycle what is that cyclic gaba analog cyclic gaba analog okay and fifth one is your deodorant that is deoxy barbiturate deoxy barbiturate okay and now sixth one that is your water okay that is hydro usually water they'll call as hydro right it starts with hyd that is your hydantoin okay that is your hydantoin and next is new that is your newer drugs and eight one will be your bens bens card that is your benzo diazepine okay isn't it this simple you just remember this story so that you can remember all those drugs easily that is your barber barbiturate sun is succinamide and ali is aliphatic carboxylic acid then your cycle that is the cycle is your cyclic gaba analog and immediately that is your aminostilbene sorry i have written it here okay and deodorant that is your deoxy barbiturate hydro is your hydantoin and new is your new year drugs and bens is your benzodiazepine okay now let's see what are the drugs comes under this okay now let's see what are the drugs that comes under barbiturate that is you can remember as pheno and mefo or pheno or fimo pheno fimo that is pheno barbitone and you have remembered as a fimo right now what you have to do is put this one in front then it will be your mefo barbitone that is your mefo barbitone now these are the barbiturates first one is your pheno barbitone and next one is your mefo barbitone you can remember as pheno and fimo you just have to put this middle letters in the front that will be your pheno pheno barbitone and your mefo barbitone okay now next is your succinamide you just have to cancel this ni that is your you remember as you have to cut it out this ni then it will be succinamide right that is your ethyl succinamide okay you just have to cancel this then if you pronounce it it will be succinamide that is your ethyl succinamide and now next is your aliphatic carboxylic acid what is your aliphatic carboxylic acid okay acid you can remember that the barber cleans his uh, walls of the cleans the walls of the house right and those walls are prone to acid and so he cleans only with the water he doesn't use acid to clean 
तो यू कैन रिमेम्बर लाइक द वॉल्स और प्रोन टू एसिड दैट इज योर वॉल प्रोइक एसिड द वॉल्स और प्रोन टू एसिड वॉल प्रोइक एसिड ओके नाउ द फोर्थ वन इज योर साइक्लिक गाबा एनालॉग हियर यू हैव द गाबा सो यू कैन राइट एस गाबा पेंटन एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज योर डी barbiturate now deoxy barbiturate is that is do is your deodorant right so you can remember like primarily first what he does he just uses the deodorant on his sprays deodorant on his son because he'll be stinky and sweating and so primarily the deodorant is used so you can remember as primary that is primarily you can remember like primarily the deodorant is done that is primidone okay primarily the deodorant is done that is your primidone and next is your hydantoin the same you have to remember like barbiturate that is your what you have to write is your phenytoin and your methinetoin phenytoin and methinetoin okay now imino still being that is immediately immediately he buys a car so you can remember like immediately he buys a car that is carbamazepine okay and next is your newer drugs newer drugs is your vigabatin and topiramate you can remember like new top car he buys that is your top car that is benz is your top car that is new or drugs is topiramate top and now and now is the benzodiazepine benzodiazepine will be your here it is right so, diazepam and also lorazepam you can remember this also okay if you remember like this story you'll never forget the anti epileptic drugs and it will be easy for you to remember in the exams also okay now let's discuss about one important anti epileptic drug that is your phenytoin okay this phenytoin what is this one this phenytoin is the which which group this belongs to the hydantoin group right it belongs to the hydantoin group okay and it is a most important anti epileptic drug so if they ask about phenytoin you first have to mention it is in hydantoin group and it is first you have to mention it is an anti epileptic drug okay used in the treatment of epilepsy and it is it belongs to the hydantoin group okay we have to mention this next let's see the uses and the adverse effects okay adverse effects of the phenytoin okay now uses i'll just tell you a simple mnemonic how you can remember the uses that is your gst gst is partial okay gst is not increased it's just partial you just have to remember like this now what is g g is your generalized okay generalized tonic clonic seizure okay generalized tonic clonic seizure it is used in the treatment of generalized tonic clonic seizure and next is your s what is s for s is your status epilepticus status epilepticus okay all right and now moving on to third one that is t t is for it is used in the treatment of trigeminal and other neuralgias okay trigeminal and other neuralgias all right and next is the fourth one that is your gst partial partial is for partial seizures 
these are the uses of the phenytoin drug all right you can remember like this now let's see what are the adverse effects adverse effects is very simple that you have to remember all the adverse effects of phenytoin starts with this group name that is your okay that is your all starts with the group <coughs> letter that is your hydantoin h it all starts with the letter h okay you just have to remember that it has the 5 h 5 hydantoin 5 h okay what is the first one okay first one is your hyperplasia of gums hyperplasia of gums okay that is your first one now second h what is the second h that is the hypersensitivity reactions hypersensitivity reactions all right and what is the third one that is hirsutism what is hirsutism it is the abnormal growth of hair on the women's face or body that is the hirsutism okay and fourth one there may be hyperglycemia hyperglycemia okay maybe due to the decrease in insulin release and the fifth one will be hypocalcemia that's it about the adverse effects of phenytoin this is a very simple question they might ask for uh, five mark questions all right that's it about anti epileptic drugs guys do remember the barber story so that you could write the classification of the anti epileptic drug easily that's it for today's video if you like the video hit the like button share the video and please don't forget to subscribe the channel Thank you for watching. Thank you.